Chess has a long history that started in ancient India around 6th century. Back then, it was called Chaturanga and imitated battles with infantry, cavalry, elephants, and chariots. This idea traveled to Persia, becoming Shatranj, and then to Europe, evolving into modern chess around the 15th century. Chess became a game of strategy, taught skills, and battles of wits. In today's world, it's played globally, with top players competing for titles and recognition. The rules have remained mostly the same, but chess has grown into a timeless game loved by people of all ages. Let's explore how chess sets are made in factories. They can be carefully created by hand or with the help of machines, each process having its own unique charm. Hello, my name is Lisa and welcome to the Lollipop TV. First step is choose high quality wood like rosewood, ebony, or other durable and visually appealing options. The wood's texture, grain, and color will influence the final look of the pieces, choosing the right wood. Pick the wood carefully. Some woods work well for shaping on machines. For instance, machines can't shape all woods easily. The chosen wood arrives at the factory in long trunks about 1.5 to 4.5 meters in length. Freshly cut wood has a lot of moisture. To remove the moisture, craftsmen use a bandsaw, which cuts the wood into smaller blocks, about 45 centimeters long. The blocks are then left in the sun for around six months to dry. The factory's location, with nine dry months and high temperatures, helps with this drying process. Create a design concept for the chess set. Decide whether it will have a traditional, thematic, or artistic style. Craftsmen first trim the blocks into smaller pieces. Each small block can be turned into one chess piece. All tournament chess pieces need to be the same size, so consistency is important. Carving the pieces' intricate patterns and designs on the pieces can't be made by machines. They are carved by hand. Special metal tools are designed by the factory to create specific designs on each chess piece. The wood is placed on a spinning lathe and a skilled craftsman uses a turning tool against the wood to carve out the designs. This process takes around five to seven minutes for each piece. Creating the night nights with their detailed designs are trickier to make. There are two main ways to create chess pieces. The first is by crafting them entirely by hand, where skilled artisans shape and carve each piece with careful attention to detail. The second method involves using machines to help shape and create the pieces, which allows for precise and consistent results. Both approaches have their own merits, combining the artistry of human craftsmanship with the efficiency of technology. The rough shape of the knight is cut out first. A metal burr, spinning at a slower speed, is used to carve the intricate design. Each knight can take a whole day to make, adding weight and finish. To keep the pieces stable on the board, small weights are added to their bases. A hole is gouged in the base, and the weight is glued in. Felt is added to the bottom of the pieces so they move smoothly and silently on the board. A final polish gives the pieces a shiny finish ready for exciting chess battles. This process of crafting each piece with care and attention to detail ensures that every handcrafted chess set is a work of art, ready to be used and cherished. Creating chess pieces through machines is a structured process that comes with advanced benefits. Computer numerical control, which is known as CNC machining. These machines are programmed with the digital designs. The machines use precise cutting tools to carve out the shapes of the chess pieces. CNC technology ensures uniformity and accurate replication of designs. The machines remove excess material, gradually revealing the chess piece's form. Automated processes ensure that each piece adheres to the exact specifications from the digital model. Chess piece designs are translated into digital models using computer software. Each piece's shape, dimensions, and details are meticulously defined in the digital design. Material selection and preparation. Choose suitable materials, often high-quality woods or durable plastics, for machining. Prepare the material blocks or blanks to be loaded into the machines. Machines are programmed with the digital designs. The machines use precise cutting tools to carve out the shapes of the chess pieces. CNC technology ensures uniformity and accurate replication of designs. Automated shaping. The machines remove excess material, gradually revealing the chess piece's form. 
Automated processes ensure that each piece adheres to the exact specifications from the digital model. The machines can incorporate finer details, such as carving intricate patterns or engraving symbols, using specialized tools. These tools can achieve intricate designs that might be challenging to replicate by hand. Pieces are regularly inspected during the machining process to identify any defects or errors. Automated measurement systems ensure pieces meet required dimensions and specifications. Once the machining is complete, the pieces may undergo additional processes such as sanding or polishing to achieve a smooth and refined surface. Creating a chessboard involves several steps to ensure precision and visual appeal. This is how factories create chessboards, cutting and sizing, material is cut into squares of the same size. Precise sizing is important for a balanced look. Creating the pattern. The squares are arranged in a checkerboard pattern. Light and dark colors alternate for an appealing design. Glue is used to secure the squares, forming a sturdy board, smoothing the surface. The top surface is made even and smooth. Tools and sanding help achieve this. Adding a decorative edge. A border or frame is added around the edges. This enhances the board's appearance. The squares and border are stained or painted. This adds color and safeguards the wood. Finishing for shine and durability. A protective finish like varnish is applied. This gives the board a glossy look and shields it from wear. Careful examination ensures quality. Alignment, colors, and finish are checked. Felt or padding is attached to the underside. This prevents scratches on surfaces. The most expensive chess set in the world is the Royal Diamond Chess Set, created by renowned luxury goods maker Jewel Royale. This exquisite chess set is valued at a staggering $9.8 million. Here's an overview of this luxurious creation. Materials and Design, the Royal Diamond. Chess set is crafted from an opulent combination of materials. The chess pieces are made from solid gold and platinum, with the white pieces in platinum and the black pieces in gold. Each piece is encrusted with an impressive number of diamonds, with over 9,900 black and white diamonds in total. The board itself is made from a combination of different precious materials. The dark squares are made from a rare black African marble, while the light squares are crafted from white jade from a mine in Canada. The border of the board is adorned with more diamonds, adding to the opulence. Creating the Royal Diamond, chess set required a team of skilled artisans and craftsmen, including master jewelers, stone cutters, and designers. The meticulous process involved cutting and shaping the precious materials, setting the diamonds, and ensuring that each piece and square fit together perfectly. The incredible value of the Royal Diamond chess set is not only due to the use of precious materials, but also the rarity of the stones used. High quality diamonds, particularly those of larger sizes, are rare and highly sought after in the world of luxury jewelry and craftsmanship. The Royal Diamond chess set is not just a game. It's a masterpiece of art and design. Its exclusivity is evident not only in its price, but also in the fact that only a few sets were ever created. This exclusivity contributes to its allure and value among collectors and enthusiasts of luxury items. Let's talk about some interesting facts about chess. The longest recorded chess game in terms of moves took place between Ivan Nikolic and Goran Arcevich in 1989. The game lasted for 269 moves and ended in a draw. Sergei Karjakin became the youngest grandmaster in chess history in 2002 at the age of 12 years and 7 months, breaking the record previously held by Magnus Carlsen. In 2014, Susan Polgar set a record by playing a simultaneous exhibition against 326 opponents, winning 309 games, drawing 14, and losing only three. Magnus Carlsen held the highest fatty rating in history with a peak rating of 2882 in 2014. Emmanuel Lasker holds the record for the longest reign as world chess champion, holding the title for 27 years from 1894 to 1921. Ding Liren, a Chinese grandmaster, achieved a record of 100 consecutive classical games without a loss in 2018-2019. In 2017, Tani Adewumi, an eight-year-old Nigerian refugee, played a simultaneous exhibition against 48 opponents in New York City. 
Wilhelm Steinitz became the first official world chess champion in 1886, after defeating Johannes Sukertort. In 2017, an event organized by All India Chess Federation featured 50,180 participants playing against Grandmaster Viswanathan Anand simultaneously across multiple locations. In 2020, Chess.com reported a record of over 960 million games played on their platform in a single day. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.